What's up everyone, Technic here. So in today's video I'll be teaching you how to set up PKTJ. This video is also for educational purposes only. Let's get started, shall we? So if you guys didn't know, PKTJ is an application that will download items to your PS Vita. So we're going to go ahead and get started and go into Vita Shell. Then press the like button and put it into USB mode. Then we're going to go ahead and connect to our computer. Once your PS Vita is connected to the computer, we're going to be downloading two different applications. Now if you have the auto plugin application, um, you actually do not need to download this, but if you don't have it, go ahead and download it because we will be installing this one too. The main one we're going to download is PKGJ. What I'm going to do for you though, is I'm going to download an older version. Please download the latest version, but I'm actually going to be teaching you two things. I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install PKGJ, and if an update were to happen, I'm going to teach you what to do when an update happens for it. Because updates do happen kind of frequently, but not really. Like This was made January 11th, this was made May 3rd, one may come out soon, but you never know. You, never, you really never know with these things. So I'm going to go ahead and download an older version. And again, I already have auto plug in, so I don't really have to worry about it. So now you're going to go ahead and drag and drop auto plug in if you don't have it anyway. And PKGJ straight onto your UX0. Again, I already have auto plug in. Then we're going to head right back over to our PS Vita. Your PS Vita, go ahead and go to cancel, unplug the USB, then go into UX0. So you're going to be installing PKGJ. It might take a little while. <laughs> then you're going to go into auto plug in. Like I said, if you don't have it already, Go ahead and install it. If you do have it, you don't have to do this step. And then go ahead and press start and reboot your PS Vita. I recommend rebooting your PS Vita whenever you install a VPK just to let your VSH menu refresh. Not just the VHS menu, but like literally everything in your PS Vita. You want to reboot after you install any VPK just to make sure it properly works. Go ahead and open it up. Now you're going to have an application called PKGJ. So what I want you to do now is open it, press start. For me, it's going to pop up with an update, but I'm going to completely ignore it. But now it's going to say non PDRM not found, which cannot be installed or played. Cool. Or items cannot be installed and played. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out now. Now this is why you need auto plugin. So we're going to go ahead and open it. There's a reason why we opened up PKGJ though, by the way. So I'm going to show you really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. As you can see now, if we are in our UX0, we have a PKGJ folder. So we're good on that now. And I'm going to do a quick check. <laughs> All right, good. No type folder. All right. Like I said, sometimes pops up. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Now we're going to go ahead and go into auto plugin. Okay, so now that everything is reinstalled again, we're going to go ahead and go into Vita plugins. Now, in some cases, you're going to be looking for two, two plugins, and that's if you're on 3.60. If you're only on 3.65, however, however, you're going to be downloading Refood as well. So we're going to scroll all the way down and find a plugin called Non PDRM. I recommend downloading the one version 1.2 by the official flow. Go ahead and install that one. And then scroll down and find Refood and install that one as well. Afterwards, go ahead and go back, go back again, and go to exit, and it's going to ask your PSV to restart. So go ahead and let it restart. So once your PSV is restarted, go ahead and go down to PKGJ and open it. And again, an update popped up, but I'm not going to update it just yet. So let me go ahead and close it. So 
After you do all this, go ahead and go right back into Auto Plugin 2 and open it up. What we're going to be doing now is going to Extras and we're going to go to Configure PKGJ Options. So after all this is correct, like install PSP Kansas EBU files, put no, and switch partition PSP PSX, put UX0, and then press triangle to update config for PKGJ. And that's gonna update the config.txt for PKGJ. So after that, Actually, let me make sure I did that right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Configure options, press triangle. And I'm gonna go to exit. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't, I just did that to make sure that it doesn't tell you to restart your PS Vita, so I was just confirming on that one. Now I'm gonna go right back into PKGJ. But again, the update notice is going to pop up, but I'm not gonna update it just yet. So I'm gonna select that. And afterwards you press triangle and you go to refresh and it's gonna refresh all the items for you. This may take a while to refresh, by the way. This may take a while to re refresh. So just keep that in mind. So again, at this point in time, um, the list is gonna pop up for you, but I have to update, so it's not gonna pop up for me. So, after you do that refresh, you are free to download any kind of item because you have the non-PDRM plugin and you have the refloop plugin. So you're going to be good to go after that. Now, I'm going to show you how to how to update your PKGJ application the right way though. So, oh, look at that, the plus popped up. So, new PKGJ version uh, 0 0.55 is available. Do you want to download it? Go ahead and put yes. It's going to download the update for you. So whenever an update file um, downloads, it's always going to go to your UXO PKGJ PKGJ 5. Point, or the new update file basically. So and it says install through Vita Joe or Vita Show. So now, again, you only do this when you have a new updated version of PKGJ to download. So after that's downloaded, go ahead and go into Vita Show. Now I said it was in PKGJ. And there's the update file right there. So you're going to go ahead and go pre press triangle, go to copy, go back, and then go to your main partition for UX0 and go ahead and put paste. Delete any old <laughs> PKGJ files so you don't get confused. Now we're going to go ahead and back out to the home menu, go to PKGJ, delete it. Then we're going to go back into VitaShell, go to the PKGJ folder, delete that. Now we're going to go to the PKGJ 0.55 and install the package. Yes. After it's installed, press the start button and reboot. The reason why we're doing all this is because every time you update your PKGJ, you want to have a fresh PKGJ folder. And I'm going to show you how that folder is created. Now, keep in mind, we just deleted our PKGJ file, so there is no trace of PKGJ left on this PS Vita after that. So after that, go ahead and open up the home screen again. Go to the new PKGJ installed and just simply open it up. Let it get to this menu and then go ahead and close it. The purpose of us doing this, and I'll show you, purpose of us just opening up the app and closing it is to create a new PKGJ folder right here. So afterwards, you're going to close it, go back to auto plug in two, open it up. 
go to extras, go to configure PKGJ options, uh, make sure this is no and this is UX0, and then go ahead and press the triangle button. And then go ahead and return to the menu, return to the menu, and go to exit, close out auto plugin 2, and go right back into PKGJ. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, <laughs> but it's a pretty it's a pretty quick process to be honest. Go ahead and press the triangle button, and then go to refresh again. Again, it's going to uh, take a little while to actually refresh everything. <laughs> There's all the items, so I'm gonna go to an item and download an item. All I have to do is install item and patch.